Tesla Model 3 seen doing testing in harsh environmental conditions, extreme desert heat, sand, and rock. A Tesla Model 3 can be seen being tested by Tesla in the harsh environment of a desert with extreme heat, rock, and sand. Tesla is making sure the Model 3 will hold up under any conditions. This is good because the Tesla Model 3 Refresh, also known as Highland, now has the HEPA filter for biodefense mode that the Model Y has had for a number of years. Tesla has brought parity to the Model 3 and Model Y. Tesla hasn't just tested its vehicles in the harsh desert and extreme heat. Tesla has also done winter testing in as snowy and cold conditions as possible, and the Tesla vehicle holds up and performs well. Tesla has worked hard to make their vehicles perform well in the snow and winter, as well as make sure the battery performs well too. In the winter, some people get about 10% to 20% less range, more if they use climate controls regularly. That's not too bad considering they have an LFP battery in their cars and those types of batteries are affected by the cold more than a normal NMC battery that is in the long range and performance. Versions of Tesla Vehicles Why is Tesla doing this? We can think of a few reasons why Tesla is doing this harsh environment testing seen here in the extreme heat of the desert as well as testing in the freezing and snow. The first is that these weather conditions are found all over the world. A Tesla vehicle needs to perform just as well as or better than a gas equivalent car in any environment or weather condition. Elon Musk has said that people won't buy electric vehicles unless they are compelling enough and better than their gas car equivalents. The second reason I can think of that Tesla would do this harsh environment testing is that a customer is going to do some of the things Tesla is doing, so Tesla is going to do them first. People want to take their Tesla vehicles out and see how they perform in the snow, ice, and extreme heat. Tesla must push the limits of their vehicles before customers do it. It would be a bad situation if customers had to do the testing for Tesla and their vehicles. An X.com user suggested that Tesla do some harsh environment testing on Indian roads or areas with a lot of potholes, speed bumps, congested junctions, and no traffic rules. I actually agree with this, but for Tesla's FSD software, there are areas of the world with little to no traffic rules, and the traffic kind of just works without it. That would be a difficult case for FSD to handle, but it will need to if it is going to work everywhere in the world. What do you think about this harsh environment testing Tesla is doing for the Model 3? What do you think the reason is? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.